sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, it's time to get the secrets out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM, and now some music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. Yeah, so was that key like for the car or was it for the cabin? Because I'm confused by my man's trying to give her the key. What was it for? I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. Well, let's try not to imagine that and get away from the water. Oh, what's over here? Oh. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on a shelf. I'd never heard of him before. See, I remember that writer called, um, ooh, man, I was something Zane. But yeah, I know he used to write um, all those gay, black, um, like black novels or, or, or gay love stories or whatever. Oh, wow, look at that jump. <laughs> Whee! Amazing. Good job, Alan. Yo, did she take her pants? Yo, what's about to pop off of here? Okay. I mean, I don't blame her. That's like the first thing I do when I get home from work and stuff. Like, yo, you take your pants off immediately. That's just it's the natural order of things. Well, yes, she did. She's my type of girl. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. My type of lady. Just come home and just take your pants off. That's how you do it. Surprise. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn it. So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. Bro, you are mad aggressive. Alan? Alan? I don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Yo, what was that? Like, why did she. Damn it. I knew she wouldn't. She couldn't see you in the darkness? I needed some time alone to think things through. Waking up in the crashed car. How? How did we get here? And entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. Wow, I go to stream you hard. I'd have to find help on foot. Oh no! Oh boy. Okay, well, we're going to do that again. Great. So, where did we come from? Just hit a lamppost over there and over the guardrail and down. Okay. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Well, I guess it's a good thing you woke up. You woke up then, huh, Adam Wake? Hello? Jesus is back. No, God is back. Not Jesus. <laughs> Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. 
Okay, well, let's go into the woods then. Because, you know... Obviously, that's what you would do. Departure by Alan Wake. Um, can I turn the page? The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Ah, uh, you get it? Cause his name is Alan Wake. A Wake. And just trot through this spooky forest. Are we waiting for axe murderers? Lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Yep. Yep. No. I don't like this at all. Hey! Hey, you! Failed! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Cabins for rent in Nightfall. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Sir, how do you wind up from the toilet to here? Well, he had a bad time. All right. Yo, this fog is really giving me mad Silent Hill vibes. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Okay. All right. You got me, game. Not sure if I can die from that. I most certainly can't die from that, though. Oh, no. Yo, my man's got mad hops. Carl Stucky totally stuck that landing. You lose. Oh. Nope. We're not doing that. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> Energizer, huh? Trying. Get the lady. Yo, we got we got Microsoft Sync. You got Energizer batteries. Proven. You can see the sight and keep those cholesterol levels. Yo, my man is insane. Well, so much for that. So much for that plan. Yeah, I think I feel like he would survive that. It's not like that far of a fall. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hope Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Man, come on now. No. Never 
Sheriff fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone. There's something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. That's pretty cool. That your flashlight illuminates the way. Find secret hidden stuff. I heard footsteps. Yeah, I don't like that. At all. <laughs> well, that's how that works. Don't don't push the button. This is kick that shit. What? No, it's duck season, bitch. Duck this. Wait, is that the... Oh, that is the cabin over there, huh? Uh, well, I'll take that back then. Maybe he wouldn't survive seeing how it's close to water. I mean, I guess had it gone in the water, he definitely would have been boned. Oh, yep, I knew it. Yo, who's over here throwing asses at me like his fucking Resident Evil? Whoa, 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 buddy. All of the lights. Ah, oh, yes, sweet, sweet light. You're my best friend. Ooh, hell yeah, buddy. I would take that. I am such a sucker for shotguns. I don't know what it is about shotguns. It's just like my thing. I can't wait to see how this one feels in this game, you know? Yeah, that almost sounds like a hot beat. I can probably make a beat out of that. Just piss a hot fire, make some bars, make some good music, y'all. Do you listen? No, I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am. Man, it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, Who, indeed? Like, uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustle in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? I mean, most dogs are. Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thank you. You have a good night now. I mean, dark joke, but maybe you should like chop off one of Toby's feet, foot, paw, so he can't get away. You know, but I'll butcher that. All right, where are you coming from? I can fucking hear you, dude. Uh, at least there's a generator right there. Oh, no, yeah, there they are. There they go. 